Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and Activision made an oopsie daisy and they've been caught and it's actually kind of funny but let's just go ahead and just talk about what happened. So you guys may remember when they first announced Season 4 Reloaded that we were going to be getting for some reason this dog man skin. It looked really out of place in the COD series and that's saying something considering how many crazy cosmetics they've added to the franchise over the course of the past couple of years but not soon after that was revealed the artist for this concept concept art right here came out to say this is basically my idea they just took it they didn't contact me they didn't pay me they didn't do anything they just took my idea and we don't know how exactly true this is this was posted to reddit anyone could have written this but we have this right here that says hello everyone i'm salen the original artist for that upcoming cod vanguard samoid i don't know how to pronounce that skin was plagiarized from i only just found out at the time of the announcement that my work was plagiarized even though i am also a cod player i am very disappointed to see my work being plagiarized by a big company like Activision in this way. I have reached out to Activision for an explanation and or compensation and hopefully the situation will be settled soon. As an individual artist, I can only do so much and I have to speak out about this to stop things like this happening again in the future. Then if we scroll down, you can see some pretty striking similarities between Salen's concept art and the floof furry tracer pack you can see that we have the exact same scarf well similar scarf we have that thing on the right side of the arm there that's sticking up i can't even quite tell what that is if we scroll down even further we have the same little pouch on the side of the character as well as virtually the same boots and the same things in front of the feet there like very very similar art. It's like one of those, it's like the old memes, right? Where someone has to copy off your homework and you say, okay, just don't make it look like you copied it too much. Well, that's exactly what we have here. And since then, Activision has taken down all mention of the skin until today, where we got a statement from an Activision spokesperson. We have the utmost respect for creativity and content creation. I don't think that's true. We love the loyal Samoid, but regrettably, we erred in our process and have removed this imagery from the game we apologize for the misstep so there you have it guys the floofy dog man is no more it is gone from call of duty vanguard it is gone from warzone presumably the artist within activision blizzard who copied this and tried to plagiarize it has been fired we don't know too much about who actually put together the skin or the tracer bundle or what have you but yeah what a weird situation i think a better situation and some of you are gonna be pissed off about this because i'm i'm kind of like uh, uh saying there should be a furry dog skin i suppose in cod and warzone if Activision wanted to do this, and they wanted to have this skin in there, and they plagiarized it from Salen, what they should do is put the skin out there and compensate the hell out of Salen. Because right now, all that happened to Salen, the actual artist here, even though I don't care, for, I don't want a dog skin in the game, but still, like, Salen had their art plagiarized by a massive company like Activision. Absolutely freaking huge. Tens of billions of dollars, right? And what happened? Nothing. They're like, oh, you caught us. All right, I guess we won't put the skin out. There's no compensation. There's no promotion. There, I mean, I guess Salen got a little bit of promotion from this because people are talking about it. But when it comes to like art and graphic artists and things like that, like it's such a meme nowadays. The idea of exposure. We'll pay you an exposure. Well, that's all Salen got here, essentially, for having to go through all this, having to try and contact Activision's legal team, having all this controversy surrounding a piece of art that they put out. Something should happen. For, for Salen here, I wanted to say your boy, but I don't know what Salen is, their name's just Salen, so something should happen for Salen. Salen should get something out of this. The COD community, we got something out of this, we don't have a floofy dog man running around teabagging us in Warzone, but the actual artist that Activision stole from should get something, as compared to just a little text thing saying that says, regrettably, we erred in our process, we apologize for the misstep. It's like, dude, you were full on plagiarizing here. You know what you did. Pay the artist. You know, pay the artist, and if that means we have to have the floofy dog man, well, that's okay, because you know what? Vanguard's done in a couple of months. Warzone 1 is done in a couple of months. I've seen a lot of comments in my videos talking about people like, you know, why would you buy these skins? They keep releasing, like, the new Terminator skins, for example. Like, why are you buying these knowing damn well they don't transfer over into Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2? 
right? There's really no sense to buy any of these things. There's never really that much sense to do it in the first place, but now there's especially no sense in buying these things. So if anything, it's only gonna be around for a couple of months. They should add the floofy dog, man. They should pay the artists for their work and then some, and then everyone's happy, I suppose, except for, I guess, people that are dying to the dog, man. But yeah, what an interesting story, man. Activision Blizzard got caught. They got caught stealing and uh, yeah, now they're trying to just bow out of it. I would not be surprised whatsoever if in an attempt to kind of bury this story that they're going to start releasing some information about Modern Warfare 2. Of course, the Call of Duty Championship is happening right now, and they're going to be revealing more stuff with Modern Warfare 2, so I think they're going to be sitting there thinking to themselves, you know what, between COD Champs and between whatever, you know, sprinkles of information they're going to give us, they're hoping this story gets buried, but let it be known that Activision got caught slipping right here. They made noopsy daisy, and now they're paying the price. But guys, that's it for this short little video here today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback on this story down there in the comments, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.